We leave you tonight with the calm ingenuity of a grandmother who had a gut feeling something was wrong. She was right and beat a scammer at his own game. Here's Tom Walters. The man on the phone said, Grandma, I need help. I hear somebody crying saying, Oh my God, I'm in an accident. He confessed he'd been drinking and said he was in jail. He needed thousands of dollars to get out. 73-year-old Jean Abbott made a quick decision and agreed to give him the money, even though she doesn't have a grandson old enough to drive. I knew he was a real scammer. I just knew he wasn't going to scam me. Many seniors do get scammed just like this, according to a recent U.S. Senate committee report. 2020, the grandparent scam was the fifth most reported type. All it takes is a bit of family information from social media and an explanation for an unfamiliar voice. I said, you know, you really doesn't sound like you, but he said, I have a horrible cold. Barbara McCullough gave this guy $10,000 to bail out a grandson she thought had turned to her in a time of trouble. I felt flattered that he even called me. Gene Ebert, a former 911 operator, knew that's what a scammer would be counting on. Well, I played the game, and then I said to him, listen, don't call your mother. She's going to be mad. Let me handle this. She agreed to let a supposed bail bondsman come to her house and pick up $8,000. But when he sauntered up her steps, Jean had a couple of surprises. Okay, have a good one. An envelope full of paper towel and two waiting cops. 28-year-old Joshua Gomez alleged none too bright ne'er-do-well, now faces a charge of attempted grand larceny and the distinction, if convicted, of being a con who got out conned. Because I played the game really well right from the beginning. Tom Walters, CTV News, Los Angeles.